Now that we've looked at hardware ways to stabilize our shots in production, in the field, uh, on the set, let's look at post-production. In post-production, we're relying on plugins to have to artificially stabilize our footage. And there's some, some common elements, there's some universals that you're going to find in every plugin you use. First is going to be edges. Will borders be seen or hidden? Borders, what do I mean by borders? When your image is stabilized, the frame we move, you may see little black edges appear or disappear or, or be there permanently. Are they going to be seen or hidden? That's going to be a control you're going to have to deal with. Another control you'll have to deal with is quality. How fast does it analyze or how slow does it analyze? What are the quality of the renders versus the quality of the stabilization? If it's a little bit of movement, you can set it to uh, speed and you'll get a good result. If it's a lot of movement, you want to set it to quality to get a better result. Some of the other controls are going to be horizontal. There's going to be a horizontal control. That controls pixels that move from left to right, back and forth. Uh, if you have a lot of pixels that move left to right, if there's a lot of left to right movement, think of it as a, a pan, uh, accidental panning left and right. You're going to want to turn that on and have that work. If you have none of that, turn it off. Save yourself some time. Now, let's look at some of these in Final Cut Pro. I've named these four clips so you can see what actual filters are on them. And just let's, before we go into the actual filters, let's just look at how this is applied. We've got um, auto scale. We've talked about that, whether it's going to make the, the image bigger or smaller so that you don't get borders. Uh, we've got rotation, translation smoothing. Smooth cam talks about things in a little bit different terms, but translation smoothing is kind of X, Y axis, up and down, left and right. In lock and load, we see we have very similar. We've got stabilization mode. We've got an operation mode, whether to stabilize, shutter reduction. We've got a zoom mode, smart zoom or fixed zoom. Do we want to zoom it in at a big space permanently or, or vary that? We've got a maximum margin. They work on these things. Uh, overall strength is how strong the X and Y axis are going to be applied. It's still X and Y axis. Uh, we can click this little bi-direction disclosure. Look, horizontal, vertical, rotation, zoom. Mercalli, everybody works on these same principles. They just have a different way of presenting them. If we go into custom, if I go to further settings here, look, I've got a zoom compensation. I've got a horizontal or vertical they have a, a, a void border. That's the same thing as border. But they ha also have a, a roll compensation for rolling shutter. They have a pan shot smoothing, which, you know, helps with when you're panning the camera from one side to the other. Let's stabilize it, but work with that panning. And uh, they've got their own ways of working with that. So in Boris, Boris has their image stabilizer. And if we look, they actually have, again the same controls. Here's edge handling, which they actually get very detailed. How much are we going to clip the top, the bottom, the left, or right? And we'll get into that a little more later. Here it is, auto scale, X and Y. Here's where we control horizontal and, and vertical resolution. Here's, here's how we control our, our rotation. They're all, the point is, they're all giving us the same controls. They just all package them a little bit differently. But if you understand that we're dealing with up and down movement. We're dealing with left to right movement. We're dealing with rotational movement. And we're dealing with the camera moving towards or away from the subject during the shot movement. If you understand those are the four things we need to deal with. And all these stabilizers are dealing with the same parameters. You can go into pretty much any plug-in and, and kind of have a basic understanding of what these controls are going to be.